Hey guys, Joy here, holistic nutritionist. So you need to eat fat every single day because your body needs fat. We thrive on fat. So in this video, I'm gonna share with you the rules of fats, the benefits of fats, and the many delicious good fats that I eat and I recommend as well. So fats over the years have gotten a bad rap. And you know what? People are still fat phobic today. I mean, you go to the grocery store, you walk down any aisle and you see low fat this and low fat that, which is just crazy. Fat is so important. In fact, every single cell in your entire body is made of a layer of fat. It has so many important roles. Fats act as messengers, so they help proteins do their job. They also aid in chemical reactions, so they help with growth and development and reproduction and immune function and metabolism. Fats do so many important things. And they also insulate and they protect vital organs in the body and they have so many benefits to us. They help improve insulin sensitivity, so they really help to balance your blood sugar. They help you feel fuller longer, so making sure you eat fat at every meal and snack really helps with sugar and carb cravings big time. And your brain is made of 60% fat. So are your eyes. So it is so important to include fat, not be a fat phobic, but the key is to choose the right fats. And I'm going to share with you the right fats and delicious fats. Native to Central and South America, people have been loving avocados since 8,000 BC, and I am definitely an avocado lover. So avocados are a total superfood, first of all. They are very rich in good fat, a fat called monounsaturated fatty acids, and their claim to fame is being fantastic for heart health. Avocados are also a great source of potassium. Oftentimes you think of bananas and potassium, but avocados, Great source of potassium, again, heart health, so important for heart health. Vitamin E as well, and fiber, and B vitamins. So avocados are a food that you wanna be eating. Next up is extra virgin olive oil. So yummy. Um, this size bottle here is about 750 ml, and I think Walker and I go through a bottle, what, every 10 days probably? <laughs> we use a lot of extra virgin olive oil because it's just so darn tasty. But olive oil, just like avocados, are rich in very anti-inflammatory fats. And uh, the other thing is that if you're buying pure, really good quality, that super important olive oil, then it's really rich in antioxidants. So this olive oil here, I absolutely love. Also, I have pumpkin seed oil. Pumpkin seed oil, great source of vitamin E. Again, all these anti-inflammatory fats. And behind here, which is smelling amazing, um, is a bowl of olives. So again, just another great source of fat. I actually love eating olives uh, before dinner. Like sometimes I come home from the office and I'm just starving starving and instead of pounding back a bag of crackers, this is a much better option. I just pop like three or four olives and I'm totally satisfied while I'm making dinner. In fact, I'm going to have one right now because they're smelling so good. <laughs> Speaking of oils, since I'm on the topic of oils, of course, you know me, I love coconut oil. So I have a little tub of coconut oil, certified organic, right here. Coconut oil is amazing. Most of the fats in coconut oil are medium chain fats, and your body loves this type of fat. It doesn't store this type of fat the same way it does like fat from french fries doesn't store it on your belly, hips, and thighs. Your body actually likes to use it as a source of energy. The other thing with coconut oil is that it's very good for your immune system as well. So if you're someone who suffers from a lot of colds and flus, coconut oil, amazing. And you've probably heard about people putting coconut oil in their coffee. I know it sounds totally weird. Uh, if you can tolerate coffee, this is actually a great thing to do first thing in the morning. Your brain just loves that fat. So coconut oil is great for cooking. You can put it in a smoothie. I actually love coconut oil for baking. That is my favorite way to use it. Another great use of coconut oil is if you like to make uh, popcorn on the stovetop like I do, coconut oil is a very stable oil. So you can bring it up to a high temperature very safely without it smoking and oxidizing. So try the popcorn recipe in my book, Joyous Health. It's so delicious. 
Something that Walker and I try to eat a few times a week is fish. So I have a beautiful filet here of fish, and fish is a fantastic source of omega-3 fatty acids. And also, fish is a great source of protein and vitamin D, B12, and hello, it's super delicious, especially when you cook it like this. In a perfect world, we would eat fish two to three times a week, but that doesn't always happen. But I'm not too worried, because we have a good backup plan anyhow. Uh, every day I take New Chapter's Homega Prenatal Fish Oil, and my husband Walker takes the regular one to make sure that we get our omega-3s in every day. But the reason I love this one is because it's made from 100% sustainably caught wild Alaskan salmon. This fish oil is processed very similar to extra virgin olive oil actually. And the great thing is that a lot of the nutrients that are found in the whole fish are preserved, like astaxanthin, which is a fantastic antioxidant, vitamin D3, and it's also not just omega-3. It's got omega-6, omega-5 and 7, omega-9, so it's a really, really well-rounded whole omega. And the nice thing is taking a daily dose of this is actually the equivalent of eating salmon, wild Alaskan salmon, three times a week. How awesome is that? And finally, I have a whole array of nuts and seeds here, which are such a great source of good fats. I have sunflower seeds, I have almonds, I have chia seeds, you've got to try my chia pudding, delicious, sesame seeds, I have beautiful walnuts. A little goes a long way with nuts and seeds. What you want to think about is if you were to pick an almond from a tree, you wouldn't pick this many and eat them, you would pick a handful. And that is about how many almonds that you should eat for a snack. But such a good source of anti-inflammatory fats, they keep you fuller longer. Beyond just the good fats, nuts and seeds also have protein. They have lots of minerals, for example, like zinc and iron. They have vitamin E, which is a very important antioxidant vitamin. So I hope you guys like this video and maybe you're inspired to try some new foods, but most of all that you realize that fat isn't bad and it's really important to make sure that we have it at every meal and snack. So if you like my video, give me a thumbs up, comment below, ask me any questions you have. I always love talking to you guys. And most importantly, I hope you have a joyous day. Bye guys.